Timber harvesters are an incredibly efficient machine. They're measuring these logs that they're processing incredibly accurately. And that's really, really important from a sawmilling perspective. And to get that, that level of accuracy, it's really important that the operator who's sat in the machine is calibrating that machine on a regular basis. So this is a harvester head. This is what fells and processes the trees. Um, right at the bottom, uh, we have a saw box, which has got a, a chainsaw in. Uh, you can see it's slightly blue because on the site that we're at here, we're applying urea to the stumps. And you also have the feed rollers. So uh, these here, uh, which basically feed the, the tree through the, the harvester head. Uh, you'll see when, when the harvesters uh, cut the tree down and put it on its side, the feed rollers push it through these knives, uh, which takes the, takes the branches off the tree. And probably the most important bit is this, uh, this little thing here, which is the measuring wheel. And that measuring wheel is running along the top of the log as it's been processed or, or fed through the harvester head. That little wheel is sending a, a digital message back to the harvester through an encoder uh, to say how long that piece of a tree is. So this is the calibrated tree. And what you're looking at there is the profile of the stem. So John will go and measure those and check that they've been cut to the correct specification. So these are a pair of digital calipers and these are what John will use to, to measure the calibrated logs. And it's got a little trigger on it and it's got a measuring wire as well uh, instead of a measuring tape. So John puts the measuring wire into the top of the log and he's measuring from the butt end of the log to the top, the thinnest end of the log. And he takes a recording. He's then measuring the diameter periodically down each of the logs that he's calibrated. And that's, that information is stored in the calipers so that when John puts those calipers back onto the mount in the machine, the information is automatically transferred from the caliper. So once the calibration is done, the calipers go back into the harvester and it then sends the information from the calipers to the machine. And in this scenario, we found that the measurement from the machine head to the actual measurement that the calipers had is a 2% deviation.